Hey, what's up, y'all? This is JC. Um, real quick, I wanted to talk about making changes um, when it comes to fitness and health. So many people want to make changes to their eating habits or their fitness habits, but they don't know how to make that change. And it's very hard for them to transition from the lifestyle that they're currently living in to you know, a much healthier lifestyle that they envision in their mind. Um, the reason it's so hard is because, well, one, of course, anything that's different is always harder to do because it's new. It's something that you've never done before. Or maybe you've done it very little. But the lifestyle that you're living right now that you're unhappy with, you've done it for so long that it's become comfortable. You've done it for so long that you, you are now more accustomed to know how to deal with this particular situation. So you would rather deal with that situation than you know, throw yourself into unknown waters where you don't know if you're going to, you know, be able to stand up in the water or you're going to sink or if a shark's in there, you're going to get ate up, whatever, you know, because it, you don't know this this particular area is dark to you. You've never ventured in there before. Um, so I get it. It can be scary. It's a lot harder um, to just, you know, throw yourself into a different lifestyle and to immerse yourself into the entire lifestyle at once. And that's where a lot of people have the problem is they do too much at one time. They, they think of too many things and they try too many things all at once and it all comes crumbling down and it fails. So my advice to you is to take things really slow. You know, do one thing at a time. For instance, uh, I have a friend that she wanted to stop drinking pop so much. She was having like seven Diet Cokes a day. So I told her, okay, do a monthly challenge. Challenge yourself. Because, you know, if you do a monthly challenge, you're thinking to yourself, hey, it's only 30 days. It's not a whole lifetime. And to make a habit, it takes about 28 days. So at the end of the challenge, it'll be much easier for you to decide, hey, this is something I want to do. You know, because you'll see the results, you'll feel the results, and you'll be like, all right, you know, I, I can do this, right? Or you can just revert back. I mean, you know, but it it's up to you. It's a 30-day challenge, right? It's just a lot easier that way. Um, do a 30 day challenge. And instead of doing, I told her, I said, instead of doing seven, uh, diet Cokes a day or, or and then taking those seven, just throwing it out the window, just drinking a whole bunch of water, take one of those diet Cokes, only drink six and replace the seventh one with water. And then once you achieve it that month, the next month, uh, replace two with water. And then the next month, replace three with water until all seven of them are all water or all something healthy, right? And that's what I told her to do. It's a lot easier that way. It's it's so much more beneficial to take things slower, uh, not just in fitness and health, but just in life in general, because it will become a life changer. It will change your entire life and it will last so much more longer than you know, you piling everything on at once and not being able to lift it because you've not trained your body to do that, right? So that's just my advice. Um, take it or leave it. But I hope that you take it because I really want your life to change for the better. So um, that's it. That's all I got. Thank you for listening.